Hello my friends. This is an update to my aquaponics grow tower. I want to show a couple modifications that I did to my grow towers that uh, are a pretty good improvement. Uh, a couple of problems that I had was the uh, drip tubes uh, were clogging quite often. Um, it was a daily chore to go around locating ones that were not um, working, that were plugged, and uh, going uh, unclogging them with the wire, which the wire worked fine, but it was a never-ending task. A couple modifications that I did was, first of all, I wanted to be able to see which ones were uh, working or not, which drip tubes. and. The way to do that was to mount the tube exterior, which I'm showing right here, and uh, the modification was to put a holder on the outside of the tube so that I could visually make an inspection. So I could walk down a row, look down through the whole row, and see that everyone is working. Okay. The first modification was just uh, gluing, which didn't hold, gluing a PVC pipe on the tube. And uh, to eliminate that, uh, to make it hold better, was to use a zip tie. Um, then what I found worked better than just the tube was take one that's a little bit larger and cut it in half. I still use the glue, but I also use the uh, zip tie in addition to hold it. And uh, you can see right there that uh, you can visually check and see that the tubes are all working. Okay, and I'm still using uh, net pots. Um, with the strawberries, uh, when I tr make a transplant, uh, the root system is too large to put in a net pot. So what I did was made a modification. Um, you can see right here, I planted uh, a strawberry and I'm holding the crown. Let me back up a little bit holding the crown and there's lots of roots that was just transplanted and that piece of foam is a piece of uh, swimming those noodles which are real cheap so here I'm trying beans and uh, I started them in a, a flat and when they were about a week or so up, I made the transplant into a piece of noodle. Right here I have a whole bag of them. And I made a cut. When you put the plant in there, you just pinch it closed, roll it up, and insert it into the slot for the where the net cup would go. This is how I made the plant holders from the swimming noodles. I'm in my kitchen using my chef knife because it's razor sharp. First thing that I've done was cut a slot down the entire length of the noodle. Then I'm cutting pieces off at approximately three quarter to one inch uh, in width and you don't want it too wide because you want to just hold around the crown of the plant when you make the transplant. I've made about a hundred of these from two noodles. Um, very inexpensive. Total cost about three dollars. Noodles were on sale for a buck fifty a piece. The other modification that I did with the uh, pumping system, I have a separate pump that pumps just to the grow towers. And 
and you see I'm still using straw. Uh, what I found though when using straw as the straw deteriorates the plant sometimes uh, drops down into the grow tube and what I found there here you can see an example <coughs> you lose your plant so what I'm finding is you need to put the plant in a net pot so when the uh, the straw starts uh, disintegrating breaking down it's dropping in the tube and uh, it won't drop out of the uh, won't suck the plant in with it here same thing lost that plant and that one Okay, the other modification was uh, the filtration, which I was planning on working on. And here's my sump tank. I'll remove the seat and cover and then show what I did with the plant system. First of all, though, this uh, bad system here, flood and drain, um, I'm taking the water that's running through this and it feeds across and drains into my sump tank right at this with this fitting with this drain pipe okay I, what I did is I put an elbow as it comes in and ran a drain tube over to this corner now let me open up the corner and show you, you see what the, I did. the uh, pump sitting inside the pond liner and uh, there's this is the top of the barrel which has the holes in it so I left the holes in the bottom there is uh, more water flowing into this barrel than what's being pumped out so it's a positive uh, flow where uh, the excess is draining through the bottom of the barrel into the sump tank um, so the water coming into the barrel is cleaner than the water, the other water that's coming in from the fish tank. And uh, so far, since this has been hooked up, which is only a few days, I have not had to clean any of those drip tubes. Now I know that there's going to be a lot of sediment still in the lines, and uh, that has to be worked out. Uh, through, the, through those, so occasionally I believe that uh, I'll be having some of those drip tubes plugging and uh, just routine checking should clean them all and crossing my fingers hoping that this system is going to be a real positive one. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.